Agrit is my favorite modern strategy board game and I've been playing it for the longest time. I remember back in the day trying to like chase down the gamers deck, the championship deck, these cards that were very hard to find. It doesn't matter now because I'm a convert to the revised edition. I love it. I love what Uwe Rosenberg has done with the design of the new cards and Clemens Franz up fresh updated artwork. Uh, so whenever the news comes out of a new Agricola revised edition deck that is big news on my gaming calendar and in this video I would like to share with you my impressions of the new deck. In this video I'm going to talk about some of the new bonus point minor improvements, uh, bonus point occupations, uh, there are some new cards that give you family growth options, there are some, well a lot of cards that bring food into the game through minor improvements, I guess that's why there's a cake on the front cover of the box. Uh, but in this new Dulcinaria deck there are some really powerful cards and in, the, in this video I'm going to talk about some of these cards that really push the boundaries. This is Unfussy Board Games. I'm Terry O'Neill. Uh, now let's crack on and let me show you uh, this new Dulcinaria deck. So first up uh, we have some nice uh, bonus point uh, minor improvements here. The breed registry gives you three bonus points for just having some sheep basically, quite easy three points. I'm, I'd be really interested in that. Luxurious Hostel um, gives you um, four bonus points there if you're building extra stone rooms. So that is potentially very lucrative. Um, talking about lucrative, this artisan district, look at that, eight bonus points on a minor improvement. Uh, though. It's going to be quite hard to build all of those major improvements, obviously, but the young farmer would help with that. This is one of my favorite, I think it's one of the hottest um, new minor, sorry, new occupations because anytime there's a card that gives you a sow action, I'm all over that. I'm talking about sow actions. We have uh, the furrows here. What a great little um, start of the game minor improvement that is. And changeover. Um, both of these cards are limit give you so actions but they're limited to one field but change over it could happen several times uh, the pulverizer plow uh, this one gives you a um, plowing for taking clay which is uh, looks really really good to me and the baking course could give you a bit of a food engine uh, on the cheap from doing the clay strategy from sorry the grain strategy um, now, if you're doing the grain and plowing fields, get why not get the lynch it and plow the fields beside your house and get some food coming in for free, which would be quite nice. Or how about doing nothing around your house and building a summer house, which is going to reward you for empty spaces. Um, if you built like an L-shaped home, that really could be very lucrative, that summer house. So really I would be very very interested in picking these cards up uh, and check out the reap hook uh, three grain without taking an action yes please that is and just it's so cheap as well uh, and this forest well what a great card this is this could potentially get you a stack of food at just the right time at the at the first half of the game so a really interesting card. So this new deck is apparently from the guest illustrator uh, Christophe Tisch. Um, it doesn't say Clemens Franz anywhere on the box and yet the artwork is very much in keeping with what has come before. So I, I think um, I really enjoy a lot of the artwork in the still scenario deck. So great job Christophe Tisch. Some of the artwork is um, quite uh, fresh in a distinct way. Uh, which I really like so I find that quite exciting so I'm looking forward to seeing more from this artist. Um, is that um, Mark Rylance? Uh, 
Just a little curious fact I forgot to mention in the recording, which is that the Dulcina Dulcinaria deck has 120 cards, just like the A, B and C expansion decks. But uh, the base game and the five to player expansion, they have um, more A and B cards in there, right? They have like uh, 30 A and 30 B. So does that mean there's 30 a, um, C cards and 30 more D cards out there? Well, it, well, it turns out, yes. It does mean, and uh, they, these cards are already designed uh, and be, have been published before in something called the WizKids set. There are some cards that do jar uh, with, the, with what we're used to in the illustrations of uh, Agricola. Um, they, some of them look a little bit like um, an illustration in a children's book, which is a bit unsettling. Uh, but more unsettling is, um, for me, is whenever the cards start mentioning the renovate action or doing renovation, uh, I thought we were calling that um, house redevelopment from the, um, since the Agricola revised edition. So that's a little bit troubling because uh, we're used to such precision in the wording of these strategy cards, you know? All right, now let's have a look at some of the um, really powerful cards. We are moving into some uncharted territory um, brace yourself for what you're about to see. Uh, okay, you ready? Let's go. The Royal Wood um, can potentially give you a stack of wood back. Imagine if you'd built two rooms in one action, you'd get five wood back. Amazing. Uh, I'm mentioning the archway here because, okay, it is a lot of points, but mainly I find this one's going to mix up the game quite a bit because it's introducing an action space that's pretty much going to be used um, every round. So um, that's really going to slow the game down a bit, but certainly an interesting card. Uh, not that easy to play that card in my view, because you know it has to be played before occupations and it costs clay, which I'm going to need at me in stage one. All right, let's look at the child ombudsman. Uh, that's going to take all of your family growth worries away. Uh, though us Agricola players are averse to negative points. Recruitment could give you family growth before round five. This earthenware potter, this is a bonus point occupation that I really like uh, because that seems quite easy to get five points off this card. Uh, though it's a real pain to play it before round four, but that's certainly going to be worth it, right? Um, the fish farmer, potentially a ton of food that you get from this card. So the Sheep Inspector is one of the cards that I am most excited about because it gives it could give me more actions. If I could find a way of uh, getting sheep, then, um, then it could really become super powerful and it would be something I'd be really excited about exploring. Uh, the Domestician uh, Expert, what a great way to get your um, sheep engine started at the game. Uh, the Reader helps out with um, that last room which um, is always such a challenge to uh, get that on the, create that final room. So um, yeah, I'm really interested in that card. Uh, now the trade teacher is really potentially very powerful. Um, look, it just gives you so many options and to be able to pick up two different goods for food every time you go to lessons, that is potentially really wonderful. So that is something I would really be looking out for in a, in a draft. All right, I wanted to bring the chairman to your attention because um, check this out. I get a food every time anyone goes to the meeting place, which that's fierce. It. Isn't that pretty much every round? Um, now you, the other players get some food too. So this card really pushes the boundaries of the game in my opinion, because it's going to be flooding food into the game. So it's going to be a bit of an odd, game if this one's in play. Uh, and finally, I want to talk about the Witch's Dance Floor. Uh, whenever I opened the deck, I sat there puzzling at this card, staring at it for a while, trying to figure out what the deal was, because uh, in Agricola Stage 1, um, the order of the sheep coming out and the uh, major improvement card, um, so getting clay, being the first to get the fireplace, that's quite a lot of drama in Stage 1. Um, and that's what it's all about. So how can somebody now just whack down this fireplace for free? Uh, I'm really a bit confused by this. Um, 
this card seems to really stick out like a, a sore thumb in the new deck for me and I'd be really interested to hear your um, comments on it. What do you think? Well that's my take on the Dulcinaria deck. Um, I think there's this deck is jam-packed full of really um, interesting cards to discuss. Um, I, but generally, I'm really happy. Um, if the game, okay, some of the cards are really quite powerful, but um, who wants a bland deck? Uh, I want talking points. Uh, I want cards that stick out. Uh, I do not want cards that break the game. So there is a line there somewhere, but overall i'm really quite excited and pleased with this deck so um i love the design and i love the new artwork in a moment i'm going to put up on the screen a few of these food providing minor improvements that i talked about uh, but before i do that i want to remind you that you can support this channel by hitting the subscribe button or liking the video um, thank you for all of your encouragement so far and i will see you in the next one